Hello everyone, it's Piotr again and that's my second video in which I'll talk about the brand new Warden web panel which provides the user interface to the Warden library. If you don't know what the Warden is about, please watch my first video in which I describe its core concepts and create a sample console application. Also take a look at the getwarden.net website where you can find a list of features and links to the GitHub repository and the documentation. The Warden web panel is part of the Warden solution available as an open source repository, which means that you can run it directly on your local host. Just clone the GitHub repository and run the Warden web project. However, if you would like to use the already existing web application, I've created a cloud service hosted in the Azure available under the panel.getwarden.net URL. It's free to use, so you can just create an account and start using it immediately. I'm going to focus on the cloud service, so let me open the web panel by clicking here and create a new account by clicking on a sign up button. I'm going to use my regular email account. And by the way, you will receive an email after account has been created. So once the account is ready, let's log into the web panel. Okay, I just entered my credentials and got redirected to the organization view, where as you can see, there is a default My Organization already created. So what is the organization? You can think of it as a, some kind of workspace that lets you add users to it, but more importantly, the wardens that are responsible for the monitoring tasks. And how to integrate the web panel with the warden? Well, you need to copy the organization ND, which can be found here, or by clicking here. And now let's open the settings view. And in the settings view, you can find the account details as well as the API keys. You can create or delete them, that's fine. For now, I'll just copy this particular key that will be needed to plug to the Warden application. Now that we have this unique pair, which is the organization ID and the API key, let me open the sample console application that was taken from the Warden repository and fix the Warden configuration. Please note that you need to install the Warden HTTP API integration first for the seamless integration of the web panel. You may do that, for example, by running the following command in the package manager console, which would be install-package warden.integrations.httpapi. All right. Once you have it installed, it's possible to use the available extension called the integrate with HTTP API and make use of one of the available method overloads, which takes the API URL, API key, and the organization ID as the input parameters. I have set the API URL to the panel.getwarden.net slash API but if you were to use it for instance on your localhost, you could use something like localhost slash API, given that the web panel would be running on the default port of 80. One last thing that needs to be done in order to make the integration ready is to configure correctly the on iteration completed async hook by invoking here the available method from the HTTP API integration called the post iteration to warden panel async that takes the warden iteration object as a parameter and under the hood uses the provided organization ID and API key to send the iteration details to the web panel API. And that's all, let's run the application now and get back to the web panel. If you refresh the organization view, you should be able to see a new warden added automatically from the console application. Of course, it's also possible to disable this warden auto registration option by clicking here, but in that case, you would have to manually add the warden first by clicking here, and then match its name with the same used in the console application. Okay, let's click on the warden detail and find out where it leads us. Alright, so we are in the Warden Details view, where you can see some basic statistics, and if you scroll down, down there, there will be also the watchers list configured within the Warden instance, and the list of the performant iterations. For example, I can click on the watcher details, and see its own statistics, plus the checks list, so that you can find out what happened during each single watcher check that was performed by this particular watcher. Okay, let's go back to the organization view and click on the iteration details. Again, some basic stats and list of all of the watchers that were part of the particular iteration. Basically, you are able to browse all of the historical data in terms of performant iterations and the watcher checks so you can easily find out what and when exactly happened. And finally, let me show you probably the most interesting part, which is the dashboard view. Dashboard provides the real-time statistics, which means that as long as you are running your monitoring application, you can see the live updates in the dashboard page. My Warden instance is currently running, so as you can see, the charts are being updated in real-time. 
The main chart provides the details about the performing iterations. So for example, you can see the date of the iteration and how many watchers is currently running. And it says that right now only five watchers of total seven available return the value result. To prove that everything works fine, just take a look at the console application. As you can see, I have this Redis Watcher configured here, which tries to connect to the localhost database, select the database of ID1, and get this test value and ensure that it returns the test value value. So if you scroll down here to the Watchers view, you can see that there is an error for my Redis Watcher, and it says that it returned the invalid result for database one and given query. So let me fix that and scroll up again and yes as you can see this redis watcher started working and i can see that on my chart you can also see some basic stats there like the most favorite resources when was the latest check performance etc and this chart is also clickable so for example i can click on this point and i will get redirected to this particular iteration so i can browse what exactly happened at that time and that will be the brief description of the most important features of the World of Web panel. So let me just log out first. I'll go to the settings view and click here. Okay, to sum it up, you can either host it on your own just by cloning the repository and running the Web application or create a free account and make use of the cloud service available under the panel.getwarden.net URL. I hope that you will like the tool which I have built in order to provide a graphical interface to the already existing Warden library. Of course, the web panel doesn't allow you to configure the Warden instance, but its purpose is to provide a quick access to the real-time statistics and historical data as well as managing your workspace within the organizations, so you can easily find out what's happening in a system that is being monitored by the Warden. And that's all, thanks for watching and have fun with using the Warden and the web panel.